So here I have a field box. I have an MXG signal generator going to a power splitter. Half is going to port one, half is going to port two. On the port two path, I also have a 10 dB path. Let's just look at the port two. We can see that with um, the SA mode. And if I, it's my signal generated at six gigahertz. If I look in my SA mode, marker to peak, there is my six gigahertz on port two. Let's go to NA mode. And if I go to advanced, look at A, and I'll put the signal to port two, frequency center, six gig. There's my six gig signal. You can just see it there. Peak. That's six gigahertz on my one port, minus 22, but this amplitude level is not calibrated exactly. Now if I go into B, make the port source port one, there is minus 31, that's the one with the 10 dB padding. So I see both my A and B signals. Now we go into VVM mode, which is really the same measurement. And I look at A over B, and it's, so we got to change the frequency to six gigahertz. And these are really changing because it can't find the signal. I need to widen my bandwidth to 100 kilohertz. And now I have a stable measurement. That's my 10 dB difference in about 72 degrees. Another way not to do the bandwidth is to lock the signals. If I go back to, let's go back to my one kilohertz, which is the default, and you can see that changing. If I go and I lock my frequency reference of my field box to my SIGGEN, then I also have a very stable measurement, so I don't have to have the wider bandwidth. So really in VVM, you can change the bandwidth. You can also um, you know, try to locking it. There's not a whole lot of other variables in VVM um, to make it change to make this measurement.